For this lesson, we'll demonstrate how in V-Ray Next for SketchUp, you can render materials from the VR Scans library on GPU, which consists of over a thousand photorealistic scanned materials. Each VR scan is generated by capturing a real-life sample from thousands of different angles, which is why they appear so realistic. Now, the VR Scan library works on both CPU and GPU, so you can harness the GPU to render super realistic images at blazing fast speeds. To begin, Let's take a look at our scene here by first hitting the interactive render button. You'll see that right now, we have a chair with a generic V-Ray material applied to it. Let's see how we can make the chair look a bit more interesting if we use some VR scan materials instead. I'll stop the render, and then let's proceed to create our VR scan materials. Keep in mind that the VR scans material library is accessible only to V-Ray scans license holders. In the asset manager, right-click on the materials tab and then holding the Control key or Command key for Mac, we can click to create three VR scan materials. Next, I'm going to right click on the first one and rename it to 01 Wood. Now, let's load in the VR scan materials we want to use by clicking on the file folder icon in the parameters. For this material, I'm going to load in the Oak Gloss VR scan file from the asset folder. Now, let's follow the same steps for the other two materials. I'll rename the second one 02 Leather and load in the Leather Black VR Scan. And I'll rename the third one 03 Aluminum and import the Aluminum Gloss Brushed VR Scan from the Asset folder. Now let's switch to the Render Camera 02 for a closer look, or feel free to choose a point of view to your liking, then start the interactive render. All right, let's start with the Chair Legs material first. If we right-click on the material and choose Select in Scene, we'll select the Chair Legs. Now, let's right click on the O3 Aluminum VR scan material and click Apply to Selection. Right away, we'll see the interactive render updates to display the material on the legs of the chair. However, we'll need to make a quick adjustment to get the appropriate size. As a result of how VR scans are created, they represent a real life sample size, which we can confirm if we drop down the Information tab and check the sample or physical size. To get the correct size in our render, we simply need to input this information into the materials tray rollout for the correct mapping. In this case, we can just input 0.02 .02 meters. Okay, now let's repeat this process for the 02 leather material, this time by replacing the chair cushion material in the scene with the 02 leather material. Once more, let's set the material to the correct physical size, which you'll see is not uniform for this material, so we'll need to click the chain icon and input the separate dimensions for the width and height. Now that we've got the correct size, you'll see that the leather in our renders is black and looks nice. But what if we want to change the color? With VR scans, you'll have a few straightforward ways to do that depending on your needs. Let's head over to the appearance rollout of the VR scan material, where we'll find a section called paint. If we toggle it on, we can tweak the color of the material to our liking without losing the texture or changing the reflection color. Let's try a reddish-brown color. Note that the paint option typically works best when using a similar value and saturation to the original color. If you want to tint the overall appearance of the material, you can use the filter option above, which affects not only the diffuse, but also other aspects of the material, including the color of the reflections. Okay, let's toggle off the paint color and move on to the chair body. Once again, I'll right-click on its material to select the chair body object, and now let's apply the 01 wood VR scan material. Once again, let's set the correct texture placement like we did for the other materials. Now, as you can see, the wood material has a glossy finish. This is called a clear coat, and it simulates varnish. We can easily control this effect from the clear coat rollout here in our wood material. Right now, you'll see the IOR is set to 1.437. This controls the strength of the reflections, for example, visible here where the chair legs are reflecting in the wood. We can weaken the effect by lowering the IOR value, or completely remove it by setting the IOR to 1. In this case though, I prefer the varnish on the wood and would like to make the coat more prominent, so I'll increase it to 1.6. Feel free to adjust this parameter to your liking. Alright, now that we've applied all of our VR scan materials, Let's give this just a moment to render out a nice image. Now you've seen how to get started with VR scans and get highly realistic materials super quickly 
all while using the speed of GPU rendering in V-Ray Next for SketchUp.